Yeah, you can hold it in just a second, okay? We're coming. Hey guys, welcome back to Holistic Home Setting with the Hearst. I'm Megan, and today marks the very last week that we will be feeding our meat chickens. I'm gonna walk you through that. I've been using a bowl to measure out our feed, which is about a pound of feed per scoop, for full scoop. And we've been doing about eight pounds in the morning, eight pounds in the evening, just because we've been trying to ration our feed. I did not plan very well for my last pickup. So to keep it organic, they have been eating just layer feed for the past three weeks or two weeks because we ran out of the grower feed. So yesterday I just picked up our typical grower feed. I got 150 pounds of it for 49 meat birds to last them a whole week. So hopefully they won't need any more than that. Like I said, it is super hard to plan for that. You want more than what you expect you would need. So I went ahead and got an extra bag thinking hopefully that 150 pounds will do us for the next week. But because also they have been fed the layer ration, they haven't had as much protein. How many did you do? Four feet. Four? No, you did more than that. Um, okay, so. Yeah, you're doing good. So it's just been really hard to. That's good, buddy, yeah. Do one more, okay? <laughs> it's been really hard to plan as for how much because it's just hard to measure. When they first start out as little chicks, like a full tray would last them a whole day. Kayla, put it back. And then after that, they just rapidly grow and then they, it's really just really hard to determine what they're gonna eat today. So. That's all of it. That's enough, Micah. That's enough. We got to put some water in it now, okay? No way. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Can Sissy carry it out there? No. All right. Well, maybe she can carry it after we put water in it because it's going to get heavier. So we have been fermenting our feed a little bit. We were doing it overnight, but now we're just soaking it to get the maximum amount. Sayla, please stop with the attitude. All right, go sit down. We're not gonna have an attitude like that. We have been soaking it overnight, but now we are just soaking it. It helps for them to absorb more of the nutrients from the food, as well as they don't waste as much because it doesn't get like stuck on the ground for them not to be able to get it. And this feed, the grower feed that we buy right here is not in like pellets so it's more of a powder form i've got to hurry it's about to storm it's more in a powder form and um it's a little bit harder for them to get off the ground if it's not soaked so what we do hold on hold it right there okay keep it in there keep it in there buddy okay so what i do is let me scoot this right here yeah keep it in there so we fill the water up and make sure that it covers the entire food. So you'll see these bubbles right here. That means it's going all the way down to the bottom. Once it quits bubbling, that's when we know that it is fully soaked at the bottom. Sometimes we may have to stir it. You're doing a good help, buddy. Our hair. Yeah, let's not get it on our hands, okay? You're doing, you're being a big help, aren't you? That's gonna get really heavy, isn't it? Go all the way down. All the way down? Okay, let's put some in our layer feed now and let that soak down a little bit more. There we go. Go all the way down. I'm just gonna take a shovel and just mix this together just to make sure that it got all the way down in there. Oh, it's storming or thundering. We gotta hurry. 
we're gonna get drenched. Yeah, you can hold it in just a second, okay? Everybody work together here. I just got Mason stop it. Her dog's eating the chicken feed. Alright, I just got our laying birds fed. Um they have a different protein ratio for their feed. Let's go get our meat chickens fed. There's bucket out here. Okay, I am on a time crunch for a bit for sure. I'm on a time crunch for sure. I need to move them. They've been here for about six days and it's starting to smell. Stop that, you're getting stuff all over me. Stay out of it, okay? Well, it's turning. I want you to stay out of their feed. So I've got to move them. What I'm gonna do is pour their food out in their next location, let them kind of start going in that and um, just hopefully, <laughs> They will move there quickly, <clears throat> stay there while I get their fence around them, and our dog doesn't do this, so, and I'm, I'm racing a storm. So let's get this done. <laughs> They are all in here as far as I know. The, oh my goodness. That was awful. I was getting very ill. My attitude was not very good. So I have some apologizing to do to my kids probably. But I needed their help and they were lollygagging and it's storming. So you guys can see it or hear it. I don't know. Half the chickens got out because the chickens or the kids left the, the gate open. So a duck got out. <sighs> Thankfully the chickens can fly back over, but the ducks have to be led back in. I swear I don't plan these moments. I was just going to talk to you guys about their last week and I had no idea it was supposed to storm. I still don't watch the weather. I have no idea. So last thing we got to do is fill up their water buckets and get this out to them before it starts storming and get my kids in. Micah decided to take off his clothes in the middle of all that. I don't even know what you guys are gonna see, but they are officially moved to their last spot before butchering. All right, they are officially watered. It's raining and I'm soaked in sweat and rain. So, um, final thoughts on meat birds for their final week. I need to be better prepared for their food because it's way too expensive to buy organic um, just at like our local feed store or our uh, local Rural King. Um, and it's not even uh, meat bird food, so it doesn't have as much quality or much protein in it. So that's one thing. Second thing is I've got, the next time we have meat birds, if we ever do this again, <laughs> We'll see how this goes. Um, I have got to get a meat shawl, like something to keep them in and easily move them inside the fence because chasing chickens is not fun. Not 49 of them, or 50 if you include our, our surprise bird. I don't even know what it is still. Um, third thing, I don't know that I will do a surprise bird again because I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that bird once the meat birds um, are ready for their butchering date. It will probably not do very well in the pen with the bigger birds. They will probably attack it. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I may have to do the whole like pen inside their pen to keep it safe from them, but also let them to get used to it. Chickens are just not very nice to the newcomers, so. And when, then. When the uh, other chickens get big, they get harder down. Those chickens, the big chickens. Yeah, let me talk to Sayla. Let's see, what do you think about meat birds? If you, it's hard when you run with them. 
It's hard when you run with them? Yeah. It's hard to catch them, isn't it? Yeah. When they get bigger. Yeah. But they get stinky if you leave them in one spot for too long. So we have to move them. And that's why I wanted to move them today because I wanted them to have fresh grass. I wanted them to have fresh... No, don't, don't yell at the cat. I want them to have fresh grass for their last week. Yeah. Um, I think that they'll be, I think I did this right, about seven and a half weeks um, when we butcher them so that they hopefully will be big enough for a good hey, Bobby. meat bird. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> you see yourself? I'm hoping for a five pound meat bird. I think right now they're closer to like three and a half. I don't know if we're gonna get um, all the way to five pounds in a week, but we will see. We're just gonna feed them, feed them, feed them and keep them fed until then. I think I'm gonna feed them three times a day now and just kind of keep an eye on their food. It's just really hard to... Mama, and then we can, can we talk about me? What do you want to talk about? No. Let's focus us first. Hold on. So, so it's just really hard to budget and feed even if them. I, I just, that's no, there's no other way to put it. Like, I have no idea how much it's costed us to feed them or if it's going to pay off even in the end. Sayla, please be quiet. Let me finish talking. I have no idea if it's going to pay off in the end um, for us to raise our own meat birds. I've tried to keep up with all the receipts on the food, but it's been hard because the last two weeks I've had to buy layer food from the store because I wanted to keep keep them fed organically and not anything else. Some of that was for our ducks and uh, layer chickens too, so yeah, I, I just, I don't know how I'm going to keep up with it, but hopefully this will give you some insight on what it's like carrying or keeping meat birds. Final thoughts, Sayla? Yeah. Okay. Even as you go out in the rain, you get wet. Yeah. It's storming pretty good now, so we are going to head inside and do some housework. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this crazy video. Um, hit the subscribe no. button. Tell them to say subscribe. Say subscribe. Don't say, say. Just say subscribe. Bye. <laughs> so you don't miss future videos and we will see you in the next yeah, one. Bye. 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 Look at those flowers! Yeah?